Snapcore First and Google Assistant have partnered up to make using Google commands even easier for our AAC communicators. Because of our partnership with Google Assistant, we have created pre-made pages in Snap so you can start using the integrated Google Assistant right away. For our existing users, you have the option to import this page bundle or simply create your own buttons for using Google Assistant. This video will discuss the pre-made Google Assistant page bundle. If you need assistance with how to import the bundle for existing users, search the Learning Hub using the keywords Importing Page Bundles for Resources. As we move into the software, please note the Snapcore First software is continuously improving, so there may be slight differences between the actual software and our training materials. To start using the integrated Google Assistant with the pre-made Google Assistant pages, be sure you are signed into your Google account within the Snap software. If you need assistance with this process, please watch the Connecting Your Google Account video on the Learning Hub. If you are a brand new Snap user, you have access to the pre-made Google Assistant pages from the dashboard. If you're an existing Snap user, you can import the pre-made Google Assistant page bundle from PageSet Central on MyTobyDynavox. The Google Assistant pages provide you with an organized menu of actions that can be utilized with Google Assistant. The icons on each button on the made page indicate if the actions within the category require any additional hardware. Let's take a look at a category that does not require any additional hardware, like time and weather. Within each category, there are some examples of commands that can be sent directly to Google. When a command is activated, the message is spoken aloud to confirm the command is being sent. However, the command is being sent silently from the SNAP software to your Google account, and the Google Assistant responds. What time is it? 4.26 p.m. Within each category, there are also plenty of blank buttons to add your own questions or commands. Using the pre-made pages allows for quick editing because the Google Assistant command actions are already programmed in the blank buttons. To create your own questions or commands, construct your message in the message window using the language tools within SNAP. If you're creating a message that is a simple question for basic information or a command that you know Google can perform without an external speaker, there's no need to use the starting phrase, OK Google. Please note, deciding when this phrase is needed may take some trial and error. Simply construct your message. Well. Yeah. Snow. Today. Navigate back to your dashboard. Select the Google Assistant page. Now use a pre-programmed button, Send Message Window Text. This will send the question or command to Google Assistant and she will respond. Will it snow today? No, today in Tampa there's no chance of snow. If this is something that will be reused and you want to store the command for repeated use, Construct the message again. Navigate back to the Google Assistant pages. Select the appropriate category or select My Google Commands page. Then use the Copy to Button function to quickly copy the message to a button on the page. And select Accept. Please note, if you want to add a symbol, you'll need to enter Edit Mode and Modify. Speaking of storing commands, let's take a closer look at My Assistant Commands. This page allows you to store commands used often. Notice, however, that there are two types of buttons, those with a red outline and those with a gray outline. The red outline buttons are programmed to send the message of the button directly to your Google Assistant. These are for messages that are our basic questions or commands that do not require an external speaker, 
like the example we just created. The buttons outlined in gray require you to program the button message starting with OK Google because it requires you to speak directly to a smart speaker to fulfill the command. For example, the integrated Google Assistant within Snap does not yet support playing music, making phone calls, or setting alarms. However, if you have these features set up through your Google Home app, you can use and program phrases starting with OK Google. In this situation, you're utilizing the speech output of your device to communicate with the external speaker. Using the pre-made Google Assistant pages allows you to quickly utilize and store this type of command as well. On the main Google Assistant page, we have included an OK Google button. Use this to add the phrase to your message window. OK Google. Construct the rest of your message using the communication tools. Start. A. Timer. Four. Five. Minute. Minutes. And select speak. OK Google, start the timer for five minutes. To store this message for repeated use, navigate to the appropriate category or to the My Assistant Commands page. Select the Copy To button, then select one of the gray outline buttons, and select Accept. These buttons are already programmed to speak aloud so that your smart speaker can hear the command and respond. OK Google, start the timer for five minutes. Five minutes, and we're starting now. Now that you know that Google Assistant is integrated right in the SNAP software, and that you can create your own buttons or utilize the pre-made Google Assistant page bundle, start using this new feature today. Think of all the creative ways you can use this feature at home, in school, or throughout your daily life. Be sure to search the Toby Dynavox website, review the Using Google Assistant with StatCore First Guide on My Toby Dynavox, and search the Learning Hub for more helpful information and tips for using Google Assistant with Snap.